So they're, we're contracting. And who knows what we'll do going forward, but the city will have a role in it going forward so that we never have to go through these kind of fits and starts again. Mayor, Wendy, uh, when, uh, Wendy Davis has a uh, bill to help uh, cities like Houston get caught up in uh, rape kit testing back the backlog. We don't need help in getting caught up in rape kit testing. We've already paid for testing of all our rape kits. They are all off. Every single one of them is off of the lab. In addition, we have other DNA uh, testing that we rolled in when we sent it off. Uh, they've already be begun to come back in large batches. The bulk of them will be complete by the end of the year. We actually gave them, I believe, until next March, but we think that uh, our backlog will be eliminated essentially by the end of the year. We're going to get any money from the state to help with that? Well, it's kind of hard when we've already spent, I mean, if, if they'll let us be reimbursed, we will, of course, apply to the state. Uh, but the good news is that we've taken care of our backlog issue. Right. Mayor, I believe that you, your campaign anyway is going up today uh, with a new, with your first uh, political ad in your re-election campaign. Could you talk a little bit about uh, the ad and its message? You know, you guys are a little strange. I actually, <laughs> I actually, I, I bought, I, I, I don't know, three weeks, a month ago, I made a huge uh, ad buy. Uh, long before my opponent, Mr. Hall, made his ad buy, and nobody paid any attention. Uh, but Mr. Hall makes an ad buy, and everybody's excited about it. Uh, we made a, a big ad buy for the end of campaign season, and we will be making smaller buys uh, between now and then. I, I We're not... We're not operating on anybody else's time schedule. We're, we're operating on on hours. And uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Hall hasn't been in Houstonian very long. He has very little name ID, and he's up on the air introducing himself to Houstonians. I'm going to help him. And I have not had any, uh, an extra campaign for the ad last night. I wasn't able to see it. So are, are you bringing that issue into question, his residency? Uh, no, he lives in Houstonian now. Right, well. He moved into town so he could run for mayor. And and so again, I, I, we're going to have an ad up this week. We'll have, a, we'll have a, a different ad buys uh, through the, the coming months as we deem appropriate. Now, I know that he has um, he has said that he's going to question you on your financial handling. And, and, and the ad went up today, that, and if you contact the campaign today, they, they'll let you know. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I know that he said that he is, and in his commercial, he's talked about uh, some of the issues, of financial issues, um, of how you handle No one city. could have talked about financial issues for the city of Houston more than I. Uh, almost every uh, public speech I give, and I talk about the great economy and what we're, what's going well, I, I talk about the challenges. I talk about uh, the cost of health care. I talk about the cost of our pensions and our pension underfunding. Literally, I could give you hundreds of days where I went out and told the public, we have a challenge with this. I also led the charge to legislative sessions to try to get the state legislature to give us the tools to do pension reform here in Houston. And so, you know, I appreciate he wants to be mayor of Houston, and so he wants to talk about me. I wish he would put some of that energy and intensity into trying to get our legislature to fix my firefighter pension and give us the tools to do reform. Why do you think you deserve another two years? I would ask everyone to look at Houston today and look at Houston in 2010 when I took office. We were in the depths of the recession. It's like being in a leaky boat, trying to plug holes and bail at the same time. We successfully navigated that really difficult time. We focused on jobs and economic development. We focused on investing in infrastructure, even though times were hard. We protected public safety. And we remembered the quality of life in Houston. And voters in Houston have approved a huge expansion in our hike and bike system and our linear park system in the city of Houston. Houston of January of 2010 
Houston today, we're on the right track, but the best can get better. And I believe Houstonians understand the hard, hard work that we did to get here and the opportunities we have to move forward. I mean, how are you going to help Ben Hall? You made a statement saying you're going to help him. How, how do you intend to do that? He's introducing himself to Houstonians who don't know him because he really hadn't been a Houstonian that long and he has no name ID. So he's going to have to spend his money to do that. I'm going to make sure that they also, that I help him introduce himself. Is there a question? We're done. I answered that one. Is there a question over here?